we killed another evil alien guy. And it was actually kind of cool. This dude was like giant. Jeez, what took you so long? That was supposed to be an easy one. No, it was easy. It took like 15 minutes. We just stopped for burgers after and the line was really long. Aside from that, everything went smoothly. Yeah, nothing goes down smoother than the blood of a freshly cocked bounty. No matter how much they beg for their life. I don't care. Oh yeah, he did beg for his life. A lot. That sort of thing doesn't really register with me anymore. Military training, you know. Dulled my empathy levels. Yeah. We're all very happy you're ignoring your traumas. Now go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. In other news, it's the two-year anniversary of the day a fearless human bounty hunter teamed up with a band of motley Gadlians to take down the entire G3 cartel. If you're not familiar with the story somehow, I can recap it for you now. I feel like you should all be familiar with it, though, since it was a big deal. But here we go. The G3 cartel, led by Garmantuous, discovered that humans, the inhabitants of Earth, were a potent living drug. So they captured all the humans and started selling them on the black market. But how was that bounty anyway? I feel like we haven't done anything really big and exciting since the G3. Except maybe that cartel or the time we had to blow up evil Earth. <sighs> yeah, I know what you mean. It's just the same shit every time. Stab this, knife that. You know, I'm just... I think I'm depressed. I think the first time, the first adventure was better anyway. I don't know if we can top that. Ah, hey, Knifey, that reminds me. Someone tried to drop off a package for you. A package? For me? Knifey? The knife? Yeah, I didn't answer the door because I don't have legs. And I didn't want to. They left a note, though. It's on the fridge. To the fridge, bounty hunter! Now! Hardware that you press deep into the... Let me have a sneaky gaze at that letter. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. Greetings from Muxalon Delivery Services, blah, 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 blah. Sorry we missed you, yada, 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 yeah. You can pick your package up at our distribution headquarters. Yeah, shut up. Wait a tick. The sender. It's from... Bounty Hunter, we have to get that package now! Hey, you better hurry then. Muxalon HQ is a mobile facility. I bet they're stationed on Paroxys for a few cycles if they're delivering packages in this quadrant. I guess I'll just stay uh, uh, punching the package as a new bounty. Uh, that's, the, that's the only way I know how to do this. Get ready, Hunter. Time for our greatest adventure yet. Mine, Knifey's Big Break. Take us to the Bounty 5K! Let's do this. What's our target? Just like a cardboard box or something? Yeah, G.I. Jane, a fucking package. But if I'm right, it's my ticket back to my home world. Let's go! Let's start this DLC, you bloody legends! Knifey! Your mission is to help me find a tiny little box with my name on it. Now go, have fun. Hey, you! Welcome to Proxus! Let me greet you. Okay, thanks for letting me greet you. Greetings! Was that so hard? To... <laughs> oh, whoa. You sound really sick. Are you okay? I assure you, I'm fine. Welcome to Proxus. <laughs> Here you'll find a quaint planet full of whimsy and artisanal charm. And you best make sure to check out the crowd jewel of Proxus, Salt Lake City, famous for... <laughs> Just give me a minute. All right, yeah. Tell us about Salt Lake City. Come on, give us the whole deal. Crossroads of the Western Corkscrew Nebula. Once known for the beautiful and sacred native Paroxian culture and art. And it still is. <laughs> also, it's absolutely covered in salt. Full of friendly, sluggy faces like mine. We're all sick all the time. <laughs> Just a bunch of friendly, sick slugs. That's what makes Salt Lake City so great. Enjoy your... <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I cut this answer short? I need a minute. See ya! 
Remember the proxy and motto. Come for the sodium. <laughs> Stay for the. <laughs> hey, hand over your valuables. Give us all your shit right now. Okay, but you're shooting at us already. That's just to hand our stuff over before shooting at us, maybe. Three we're fighting? Yeah! There's four pots now! Well, I wanna kill you, obviously. Gotta say, I don't love that. Die, maggots! I mean ants. I know the difference. Sorry. Sorry! Do you have any cool rare gems? Seriously, do you have? Can we just have one of those cool cock and gun things, maybe? Oh, thank God you picked me! I was scared I'd never get to see you again. Oh, you missed me? be here to learn about salt. Ah, salt! Oh, you yummy little crystals that have been with you, surrounding you, since the day you were born and will be with you until the day you die. Why would salt hurt you? It's family. Haven't you noticed salt is a little dangerous to slugs? Careful, I can sue you for making such dangerous insinuations. Okay, so here's something you actually might not know about Muxalon Shipping Company. They repurposed Sam Schnott's old Duffalo Ranch to be their own proprietary cargo transport system. And when you think about the logistics there, that's really impressive. Oh my god, you want to play Collector the Allocating with me for real? Please, let me gift you a card to welcome you to our community. Wow, thank you. A cool nerd card. Great. Love it. Now people are going to think I'm a nerd. Don't overthink it. Just get a full set of nine cards and come back here so we can play. It's such an amazing game full of rewarding depth and beautiful art. You play as a powerful and rich wizard entrepreneur obsessed with amassing a giant collection of the multiverse's rarest and most powerful creatures. And you battle them to destroy... Oh, you must be as excited as I am! Yes, you know what? I like this cars, place. This would be paradise for these slugs years. if it weren't covered in salt. Oh, you must be hey as excited as I am! Bonnie, come hey there, Sudo here. here. I've been doing research on Paroxys just in case I can find something that'll help you out. And I found out that they play a sport here called Paroxo Squash. So if you see a Paroxo Squash court, Go uh, check that out. Maybe it'll be helpful. I don't know if this is helpful or not. I'm just I'm just trying to be part of this mission and give you information. So don't fucking don't get mad at me. All right.
here. I'm picking up some strange readings over at the Proxo Squash Court. Maybe there's something useful there for us. Maybe there isn't. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe I'm broken. Who fucking, who cares? You want to go there? <laughs> go ahead. Salt Lake City. Dup, 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 dup. Watch it. I'm gonna need you to slow down. Oh, sorry. Hey there. I provide. He hey there. You sure as heck picked a good time to visit Peroxis. It's gorgeous this time of year, as you can plainly see. And you got here right after tourist season. Can I suggest some beautiful local spots to check out while you're in town? Yeah, sure, that could be fun. Amazing! Well, let's see. There's the Crash Ship, Hookbug Bay, the French Spires, of course, and, uh, oh, Sparkler's Grotto. Oh, Sparkler's Grotto! That's a good one. You'll need this postcard here to find it. On the island where Toxo's taking his big old bath, you can find this amazing cave full of crystals. Sounds magical, no? Hmm, I guess we'll have to see for ourselves. You have to see the French Spires! Take this postcard! You'll get the idea fast. They're named that way because they remind us of two snails kissing with tongue. <laughs> and there's a planet called France. Little insider secret there where they kiss with tongue. I've seen it myself. Ooh, I gotta try that. Seeing the big rocks, I mean. I've done kissing before. It rules. I love it. How about you pop over to the site of the old crash spaceship? Give her a gander. Take this postcard to show you the way. Oh, a crash ship sounds fun. A good reminder not space drink and space drive. For a slice of local charm. Hookbug Bay is real nice this time of year. Take a trip and enjoy the unique fauna. Hookbugs. Here, have a postcard to find it. Hookbugs aren't exactly unique to Proxus, but okay, sure, dude. Oh, shit. You're not a slug. Sorry. I'm not wearing my glasses. I thought you were a sylph from far away. Not gonna explain what that stands for. Oh, please. I know what sylph stands for, okay? Look, you're not my usual type, but I'll still teach you Paroxo Squash if you're interested. I'm a pretty good coach. You got something to launch balls with? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe we got something in the loop. Some found in for you. Go dig around in there and take whatever you find. Then I'll teach you the ropes. Seriously, grab whatever you want from that lost and found bin. Uh, it's yours. I truly don't want any. <laughs> Whoa, who are these little fuckers? Oh, that's ball. It's an acronym. I forget what it stands for. But they operate the gun for you and shoot out balls. So there you go. Doesn't need to stand for anything. Just shoots balls. <laughs> you ready to learn how to use it? I'll teach you. All right, game's easy enough. Just use ball and try hitting those targets. Go on, give it a try. Oh, hell yeah!
Exo Squad, baby! Try taking ball out for a real spin. Play ball! See you later. Sorry for mistaking you for a hot slug or you're welcome. Oh, we should use ball here. <laughs> oh, not that ball. Welcome to the team. You're lucky we found Harper and that she's almost the same subspecies of Gatlian. Seriously, you gotta be more careful. These are living beings. Anyway, sorry to lecture. Uh, I don't want to be the annoying old fart. I'm one of the cool guys, part of the team. That's why I installed this radio feature, so I can just talk whenever. And nobody forgets I'm part of the team, ever.
Well, look at that big fella. Bet he can help us. And if he can't, well, I bet he's real nice to stab. Ah, remember that? I do that too. Hey, Knifey, why is this package so important to you anyway? You don't need to tell me if you don't want to. I know we're not close. Did nobody fucking look at the return address? It was sent from my home planet. But those good-for-nothing Muxalon delivery fucks smoke the full coordinates. Well, that's fine. I bet you know your own address. Yeah, fine. I don't know how to get home. You got me. I went on the planet one night after a fun-filled, blood-soaked evening, and I never found a way back. Oh, fuck, I miss it. A whole planet full of knives just like me. It's a blood paradise, man. Oh, that doesn't sound like paradise to me. It actually sounds very scary. Well, get stuck. That's exactly why I want to get home. None of you sick fucks even get me. You don't understand me. Ah, here comes more. Feelings on the matter, just happy to share. Ah, feels good to talk. Oh my god, I'm a hey Welcome to my back. Oh my god, look at this big chunky boy. You think he can help us? Hey, you big boy, quit lazing around and help us get to Muxlon HQ. Oh, hello there, friend. Did you say you need help getting to Muxlon? Oh, baby, I can absolutely help you, no doubt. It'd be my damn pleasure, in fact. You just gotta do me one little favor first. Oh, yeah? And what's that? All you gotta do, join me in this delicious bath and take a freaking load off. Oh, come on, I can tell you're a bit high strung. Man, get back. Oh, fuck you, I'm not fucking high strung. No hard man, friend, just suggesting a nice bath. A little break to recharge. Then I'll help with whatever you need. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, friend. Oh, just get in the bath, Fanny Hunter. Doesn't that feel great? I'll just give it a minute. Stay in there a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna help you with your problem. Yeah, just do it. What a bunch of babies. Go ahead, take a load off. That's what I do. This bath is full of loads I'm taking. Still getting used to it, huh? Whoa, why'd you get out of the bath? Come on, don't be rude. Get back in. Yeah, do what the big man says. Come on. Oh, good, you're getting back in. That's great, because I'm not helping you till you suck with me for a while, okay? I'm glad we're on the same page. Hey there, Pseudo here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little God of War style tip that just gives the whole puzzle away. Go ahead and shoot those parasites on Toxo, and that'll give you health to heal, and you can stay in the bath for longer. How's that sound? Atreus out, just kidding. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I can see you feeling it. Mm. Oh, sweet Jesus. Now that was a bad. All right, you can come out and dry off now. Yeah, yeah, we did you little boss. Now help us out. Yeah, hold up, just real quick. I'm sorry. Uh, can you clean the rest of these parasites off me? I, I just can't read you. Oh, fucking fine. I guess we're just gonna keep doing what this guy wants us to do, Danny Hunter. That's what that's... Oh, yeah, that did the trick. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, 
Now you help us get the Muxel on HQ, right? Sure, sure, one second. I, I just, um, you know, I'm a little embarrassed to ask, but can you clean a few more of those parasites off me? There's a whole bunch on my back. Just head around. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? What? Look, I'll help you. I said I'm gonna help you, and I'm gonna help you. I'm not a liar. You can trust me. It's just this one last quick favor. Just do it. And if you don't mind, please don't take too long. I get a little self-conscious about my body. And especially my rear. Fucking hell, I swear to God, you're... Uh, fine, we'll do it. We'll clean you back. And then you'll help us. Of course, absolutely, Bathman's promise. Thank you, I mean it. And please, don't judge my naked body. Throw your head over the box. Super easy. Good. Just one last thing first. It's just one last thing. And I'm even more embarrassed about this, if you trust me. But, gosh, I really need you to clean off my ass. Right through this cave here, please. No, no way. No more. We've done enough. Look, I get it. You have. And I appreciate that. But uh, just clean my ass first. <laughs> I won't be able to get the man I'm helping you until my ass is clean. Jesus fucking Christ. Just do it, Bounty Hunter. Let's just get this over and done with. Just do it. Oh, you're a freaking angel, you know that? <laughs> you really are. Well, my ass is right through that tunnel. Just head down. Thank you so much. Hey, good luck down there. Cleaning my ass. Hey, pace yourself. Making your way through a cave to a butt takes everything you got. Taking a break from an assless life sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to see an ass? Sometimes you want to go where you can drink under an ass. And it's a parody of cheer. Cheers, just making sure you know this is a Cheers parody. Also, Frazier's in this one, too. We didn't even ask. We're just using Frazier illegally. What the hell is this? So tell me, how's the wife doing, Gorm? Well, Zam, if I knew that, maybe she'd stop yelling at me to listen to her better. Okay, this rolls. Well, I'll be, if it isn't our old friend, the bounty hunter. Oh! Fantastic. We'll play along, but we've never been here before. Sure you have. You guest starred on season two, episode six, and season four, episode 17. Come over here. Let's all take a shot with the big shot. What do you say, bounty hunter? You know, a man who listens is very attractive to most women. Uh, sorry, Cyan. Can you repeat that? <laughs> yeah, pretty good, right? All our liquor comes from my own dripping, so if you like the taste of that, then you like the taste of me. We all love the taste of you, Zam. <laughs> Speak for yourselves. <laughs> hey, what's taking you so long? The Gorm, you old sack of sludge. How's it going? Well, I hate my life, I hate my wife, but at least I've got a little tife. What's tife? I don't know. I just wanted to sound like I had something good going on. <laughs> Listen, my friend, we just gotta do something to cheer you up. All right, bounty hunter. Why'd you get up on the bar and show us some of those famous joyous dance moves of yours? Careful. Oh, shoot. Here we go again. Excuse me. 
Sorry, calm down. I got you. Don't worry about it. Let me just toss you to the next island. What do you say? Let's try slowly walking to that ranch over there. Whoa, check it out. I've never seen so many duffalo up close before. Beautiful creatures, wise eyes. All Jewish, too. Phenomenally Jewish creatures, actually. Oh, Got my beauty sleeping. Can you tell? Nope, too innocent. Huh? Mission parameters say we should find who's in charge here. Oh no, poor Duffalo looks sick. Well, that cow- Oh, Elizabeth, oh. poor thing. Good afternoon. What seems to be the problem here today, sir? Oh, hey there, folks. The name's Sam. Schnock. You came at a bad time and, hey, wait a minute. You're one of those poachers, aren't you? Just leave me alone. You already roughed up poor Elizabeth here, the runt of the litter. And for what? Just to steal some cargo from her belly? Oh, no, no, no. We're not poachers, sir. We're just looking for a way to get to Muxlon HQ. I don't believe you. You look like a poacher to me. I can smell the blood and violence on you. The duffalo can, too. They can sense that kind of thing. Beautiful creatures. Look, we're not fucking poachers, all right? What if we kill all the real poachers? Would you believe us then? What kind of mind games are you playing at? You really expect me to believe you're gonna go up to your big, fancy poacher base on that rock spire over there and kill all your friends? <laughs> yeah. Right. You're just as twisted as your leader, that blasted poacher king. Get lost and keep your hands off my prize duffalo. Don't worry, bounty hunter. We can change his mind. And these poachers sound very stabbable. So if we take out these poachers, we'll be one step closer to Muxlon. Don't fuck it up. Hey, we've got a true... Hello, poachers ahead! Kill them all! They're standing between me and my pack edge! Alright, This is your poacher king speaking. I So take it out for me. I want the dead. Hey, Poacher King again. I know everyone's busy fighting, but we never want to kill anything for what's working with. Swift got a new one circulating. We're doing salt and salt today. Don't worry.
patient, man. You ready, partner? No, please, don't kill me. They just gave us dental. See how you're feeling. I, I know she's been gone for a while, and those rumors, uh, well, it's, it's just not what I expected from her. Uh, at least she's making a name for herself. Uh, so, yeah, let me know if you ever want to talk about it. Not now, obviously, since you can't respond to me. This is a one-way call. I designed it that way so you couldn't tell me to stop talking to you. That would break my heart. Uh, so, uh, I'm just gonna keep calling you, and uh, assuming you're cool with it. Love you, kid. Pal, do not look up. Trust me, down is much nicer. There's safe ground down there. Eh, just not as satisfying as stabbing a living being, you know? Somebody got a problem with us? You need to use the glob shot for something. Don't forget that you can do that. All right, Godspeed. Not good. Get out. Oh, yeah, here we go.
my time to shine, Chief. and loaded. Almost all of our guys get killed. It's just gonna be a lot 
Understanding. I would have had my men attack you if I knew you were human. Wow, it's been ages. They they said you're gonna be a monster. You're not you're not a monster. Oh, yeah, no. None of these ants have ever seen a human before. They were terrified of me. Thought I looked gross. Let me be their boss if I promise not to kill them. So what can I do you for? We're obviously not gonna kill you, but you gotta promise to stop poaching Duffalo. Oh, totally. That's all finished. You have my word. Because, well, you know, you killed all my poachers. But also, I'm just over it. And hey, as an apology, take some of my poppers on the house. Yeah, we use these to loosen up the duffalo and steal all the cargo muxalon stuffs inside them. But you can use poppers for other stuff, too. I sure do. So, what else can I help you with? King, you know how we can get into Muxalon HQ? Oh, great question. Yeah, uh, we came up with a plan for that, actually. I eh, figured it was too risky, though. The gist of it was, use the poppers to loosen up the duffalo, then climb inside, and let it smuggle you into Muxalon HQ on its return trip. Pretty genius, right? Hey, they don't call me the Poacher King for nothing. Oh, okay. That just might work, actually. Okay, I can tell these other morons don't know, so explain to them what else you can use poppers for. Oh, that's sort of a if-you-know-you-know you know thing. Did you say Poacher King? How'd that happen? Oh, look, it's nothing that crazy. I came out here on vacation with my boyfriend, and we got in a huge fight, so I stormed out to the salt flats, met some ants who were terrified of me, they treated me like their god, I uh, bossed them around and told them to find me treasures and doodads. So they started poaching duffalo, and we figured out the trick with the poppers, yada yada yada. Suddenly, I'm the poacher king. Well, you know, not anymore thanks to you. But uh, I mean it. This wasn't the life for me. And I miss Carl. I think it's time I head home and try to make amends. Uh, see you around, I guess. Old Jiggy Donuts will be leaving soon for his next big adventure. Who knows where this crazy galaxy will take him next? I'm getting fucking impatient. Let's head back to the rancher and see what these poppers can do. Oh, hello again, friends. Hope you're having a good adventure. Hey there. Gene again. Uh, just uh, got lonely over here and uh, wanted to say hello. I guess I uh, kind of run around stuff to watch on TV. A little bored. <laughs> and, uh, not in a depressing way, like, uh, oh, I just sit here doing nothing, waiting for you to come home. <laughs> don't, don't feel bad about leaving me here or anything. I, I don't need your pity. I just have no goddamn clue how to sincerely express that I miss you, so I'm making it weird. Oh, great. Not you again. Don't worry. You're not going to have to deal with any more poachers. We killed them all. Oh my god, I can smell it. The blood of a hundred poachers. You really turned on your own people and killed them all? For me? We keep telling you we were never poachers. Oh my god. And yeah, we killed them all for you. Well, basically, the only one we didn't kill was a very nice gay man. Well, that's great news. And Elizabeth here's feeling a lot better, too. Just about ready to send her back to Muxalon. Oh, gosh, thanks so much for all your help, even if you are a filthy poacher. Go ahead and let me know if there's anything I can do to thank you. Yeah, you can do something. Let us climb inside your duffalo. I'm sorry, what's that now? We're about the poppers, bounty hunter. It's time to get dirty. Muxalon HQ, here we come. <laughs> She's opening right up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Elizabeth. Yeah, this is the sort of weird 
shit we do all the time, Sam. Deal with it. All right. Ugh. Uh, basically the same as business class, huh? <sighs> Good thing none of us have noses. Well, except you, Bounty Hunter. I guess you've got a nose, don't you? Uh, yeah, sorry. It probably smells like shit, doesn't it? Probably the worst smell in the universe. Because you've got a nose. No, I don't have a nose. All right, I'm bored. How long is this gonna take? Uh, hello? What the hell? What are you doing in here? This is my duffalo. Whoa, what the fuck? Who are you? No, seriously, what the hell? Get the fuck out! Sorry, we kind of need a ride. I'm going on a big adventure to find a missing package from my home world. Y you understand? But, uh, I'm just going on a big adventure to find a missing package. Who gives a fucking shit? Get the hell out of my duffalo. It's mine! You got that? Uh, all right, this is gonna be a whole thing. How do we handle this, team? Get the hell out of my duffalo! All right, so lay it on me. What's it gonna take to get you to let us stay? Come on, let us stay! We promise we won't be a bother. What? No. Are you fucking stupid? I was here first. This is my home. You are trespassing on my personal property. So are you gonna get out? Hey, uh, not to pry or anything, but are you okay? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You just seem pretty upset, like something's bothering you? I mean, yeah, you're in my home. Come on, dum-dum, not that complicated. Well, okay, sure, but it's not like we meant to bother you. We didn't even know you were in here. I'm sure you get that. Maybe it's not my place, I don't want to imply anything or try to diagnose you, it's just you reacted pretty strongly to us climbing inside here. Like maybe there's something else going on. I guess I did kind of overreact, huh? Why don't you want us in here? We've been over this. It's my personal space, and you're intruding on it. It's not really worth psychoanalyzing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. Things will probably get too heady if we go down that route anyway. And we like to keep things light. We can just move on. I'm afraid of connecting with others, okay? I'm afraid. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a parasite, so everyone expects me to be too clingy or just leech off them. And that's not who I really am, yeah? I'm not just what it says on the tin, I'm more than just a parasite. Oh, of course you are, yeah. So now I just hide out inside a duffalo where nobody can judge me or try to put me in a box. You know what I think? I think it sounds like you went and put yourself in a box. Oh my god, that's exactly what I did. Quick, help me out. Keep psychoanalyzing me. I, I want to go deeper. what you'd do if you weren't trapped in this box, so to speak. Race car driver. Oh, okay. Like you'd drive race cars? Yes. Got it. Yeah. I was expecting an answer with a little more substance, so to speak. Race car drivers are the best. They're the fastest, coolest people in the world. I don't even have to think about it. Race car driver is my answer. Next question. More. Tell me, have you ever been depressed? Oh, God, yeah. Is that a bad thing? I mean, I'm basically depressed all the time. That's not a bad thing, is it? Well, I don't know if we should look at it in terms of good or bad, but... Like, that's just a thing everyone feels constantly, right? Extremely depressed at all times. I'm not weird. Uh, not everyone, but plenty of people get depressed, sure. It's not so strange. Shit, shit, shit. I thought that was normal. I, I, I thought that was just how everyone lives. Always feeling this hollow, empty nothingness in their soul at all times of every day. That's not normal. Yeah. Honestly, I guess it is the norm these days. Everyone is depressed. It's weird not to be. You're just trying to make me feel better. Oh, no, no. The galaxy's fucked up these days. Things are bad. God, I'm a fucking freak. I'm a depressed freak. Enough. I can't take this anymore. What's your diagnosis? Oh, you're totally fine. Not mentally ill at all. Right, I know that. I'm perfect in every way. Well... Yeah, you were just trying to get into my head. I know that. I, I don't know if that's true. It's more like we were trying to stall you so you wouldn't kick us out. No, no more mind games. Get out of here. Yeah, that's fine. I think we're at our stop anyway, so... Uh... Get out! Got it. See you later. Yeah. Finally! Moxalon! Right? 
Are we in Moxalon? Where are we? Oh, yeah, pals. I couldn't help but notice it's pretty dark in here. Let me just help you out with this flashlight, and then I'm gonna dip out because it's it's uh it's it's scary here. I don't I I I don't love it. Bye. Yeah, yeah, we can, sir. Wow. Look at this place. Yeah, damn. Is this some kind of holding pen for Duffalo? I've been trained not to admit when I'm scared, but, uh, uh yeah, uh, I'm not scared. <laughs> Shut up! Get moving and find my package! I can almost taste my home planet. Mmm, yummy. Anyone know the deal with this weird goop everywhere? My name's Stelson. I'm the last one left. You need to get out of here immediately. This place is dangerous. Muxalon isn't what you think it is. She can't be stopped. Enough. Is my package in here? Huh? What are you talking about? We came here to pick up a package. What? You came here willingly? Oh, my God. Yes, it's a very important package. All my dreams of seeing my family and my home planet are riding on it. So where the fuck is it? Uh, if it's anywhere, it should be here. This is the Miss Package's room. But trust me, you should just forget about it and just leave while you still have the chance. No way. Uh-uh. We didn't come this far for nothing. Let's start tearing up these packages, Bounty Hunter. One of them's gotta be mine. Start knifing them. What are you waiting for? Let's cut off those packages! Oh, damn it! Not that one! Try another! Try more! All of them! Cut them all open! Oh, God, you're making a lot of noise! <laughs> not that one's not it either! Come on, keep looking! Come on, package, where are you? There's too many of them. What are we gonna do? I'm so sorry, but maybe it's for the best. Oh my god, I need to go hide. Save yourself. Uh, hello? Stelson? Anyone? I think there's someone in here with us. Intruding on my facility. Hey, 
Hey, it's all good. <laughs> no offense, Matt. We'll just pick up our package and get on our way. <laughs> I'm Mux, CEO extraordinaire of Muxalon Shipping Company. Do you know why you're dealing with me personally and not one of my millions of pathetic worm-ass employees? Uh, because we trespassed in your facility and started fucking- Because you trespassed in my facility and started fucking up all my packages, yeah. You're pretty sharp, you know that? I could use someone like you. All right, we're sorry, we'll go, we'll go. Can you just please put us down? I can't do that. How are you going to pay all this off if I don't put you to work? Don't worry. We've got a nice benefits plan. Have a free parasite <laughs> on the house. <laughs> I guess our talk earlier convinced me to get out of the duffalo and go back to work. It's so funny running into you here, right? <laughs> well, let's do our formal reintroductions. I'm Gary Hellman, and I'll be your managing parasite. How about that? <laughs> oh, what the hell? Don't worry, it's only gonna sting a little bit, and then you're gonna feel a sharp pain down your vertebrae, and that's right when most victims start to involuntarily empty their bladders. But then it's fine. No more pain after that. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Seal up that box. Was that so hard? Idiot. Just do that every time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Please help me! They're still using us as drugs! You gotta help me! Holy shit! They're trafficking humans! Fuck this! Please, no! Don't shoot me out! What the fuck? Why would you do that? Hello? Okay, psycho! Yeah, sure! Box up a human being! Thank you. Great job. Really great job. I mean that. Okay, and here's another one. Hope you're done grappling with your ethics here. Very nice. You're very good at betraying your own species. Seriously, stop boxing up humans. Keep it up, keep it up. Let's get into the flow, okay? Get into the fucking flow, baby. Please do not seal me up in this box. Wow, you're a natural. You must have a lot of experience being a traitor. When that human tracks you down and kills you in revenge, that'll be on you. Come on, baby! Let's keep that species traitor streak going! Hey, look, I cannot tell you what to do. I can't stop you, but, um... Look at you, gunning for employee of the month. Well, you're not eligible yet, but I'll put in a good word for you when you've been here for... Uh, ten years. Seriously, 
cut it out. Look at you! You are in the groove now! You don't need me anymore. You just keep doing what you're doing. What is the problem? Oh, if it's a pee thing, I told you, you could just piss in your suit. I truly don't mind. Just piss in your suit. Yeah, we're kind of professional human savers, so we're not doing this. What? It's not like you're culpable. You're just doing your job. Enough. We're not here to work or betray anyone's species. We just want my fucking package. And yeah, sure, we'll take this place down and save all the humans, I guess. Come on, let's move bounty hunter. to get back to work now. Shut up! We don't want to make Mux upset, please. If we don't do our job, you know, I'm the one who's gonna get in trouble. Oh, thank God, there you are. Stelson, my favorite fella! Oh, oh no, you're infected. Stay back. What, this guy? <laughs> nah, he's harmless, don't worry. He can't control us. No, that's not true. I control you. I'm your boss. Hey, Stelson, what do you got for us? Oh, I found your package. I mean, if your boss will let you have it. I won't! Oh my gosh! My package! Oh, thank you, Stilson! You're the best! Oh my god! Oh my god, this can't be real! Is this really full chainsaw mode? Oh, I need that one thing back on my home planet! Fucking hell, I feel amazing! I'm more powerful! Fuck yeah! Let's fuck you right now. This is a nightmare! I've got an idea! See that goop on the wall? <laughs> oh my god! This is so cool! We're unstoppable now! You're gonna get us into so much trouble. Look, whatever you do, do not break the number one rule. What's the number one rule? Oh, right, I need to tell you the rule. So you don't break it, okay? Muxalon Guidebook, page 37, article 2. Employees are not allowed to slice up any of the linked pustules that protect each of Mux's vital organs, especially not with a chainsaw. Huh, it's weird that it says that specifically. In the event that those pustules are damaged, Employees are absolutely not allowed to attack the relevant vital organ. Definitely do not do this to each of the vital organs scattered around the facility. So you're not going to do anything, right? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. De definitely not. Too bad the hunter. No, no, no. Stupid, Gary. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. Take that, you disgusting, omniscient slime. Ah, what the fuck? That was my Flagora's numeral. I need that to understand that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I told him not to hurt you, I swear. Attention, employees! We have intruders. Not sure how many because of the whole I forgot numbers thing, but they're attacking you. Kill them. Now, oh, good. Gene again, where are you? Yo, 
your uh, signals got dark. Hope you're okay and not dead or anything. There's a... Yeah. So it'd actually be sad if you died. But that's real. That's the first time I've ever really put that thought together. But if uh, you died, it would seriously fuck me up. Jesus. D uh, d don't be dead, okay? So, I bet you're wondering a bit about me and my whole deal. That's only natural. Well, uh, let's see. Oh, muck spawning in a brood of a thousand parasites. I was in the major for a bit. I was, uh, ooh, how would you put it? Not performing on par with muck salon standards. So I ran away and hid in a duffalo for a bit, and that got old. And now I'm back for another go. Simple. Compelling. Well... That's that. Uh, I'll let you get back to whatever you're doing. Another parasite I worked with, you this parasite. His host worked things up so much and put too many packages on the belly. Clogged the machine. Everyone was fucking oh, no! What is wrong with you? Especially the knife. I took a peek at our internal shipping log and I learned a bit about your little home world. 
cute family. What the fuck? Stay out of business! Maybe after I deal with you, I accidentally drop off a shipment of high grade. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, another one down! Ah! Oh fuck! I mean, she's gonna be really stuck. Oh, very, very, very. Plenty of organs. She's gonna be Okay, go to the administration office now. No organs in there. Just a nice, calm place to focus on work. And I bet you're lost, so you got no choice but to listen to me.
Careful, careful, careful. The admin office is just down the shaft, but it's really, really this is easy to die in. Oh. Yeah, it's, so uh, the it's where we lose most of our I lives. was hoping you wouldn't have to see this, but I'm glad you did. This is what I'm talking about. Pure evil. I've never been in a room more evil than this. You see this carpet, right? We need to take Mux down. Oh, buddy, say no more. We understand. We're good. We're good with it. Just pop up. Shit! Oh, that got me going. me to stab those buttons for you. It's a lot less busy work. so I can get your employee satisfaction with you all the way. All right, I'll try to be quick. First question, are you satisfied with your direct superior master of stuff? Oh, okay, now let's see. Uh, the answer, just uh, jump for yes or shoot for yes. Okay, yeah, that's it. You know, I'm really not that bad of a manager compared to the other guys. I'm a lot more than And you're not so great as an employee yourself, so fuck you. Okay, let's move on. Next question on the survey. How satisfied are you with your current case? Which you are checking and yep. it's zero. We don't see anything. Are you happy with that? For death, for okay, great. You don't get paid nothing at all. That's good to know. We'll just go ahead and keep paying you that. Alright, last second question. Would you be likely to recommend to a friend that they get a job working here at Mux Alliance Company? Turn to the left for yes, turn to the left for yes. Oh, fantastic. You recommend it? You know there's no referral bonus, right? I have A lot of people ask if there's a referral bonus, and I swear to God, it's like they're not even paying attention to me. Oh my god, thank you so much for doing this with me. I know you're in the middle of a busy day, but I just feel like this is really going to help me make up for being attached to the employee that's destroying the whole company. What's this? This is supposed to be some fucking 
tore it into pieces. They'll really mess her up. Most things die if you kill enough of their organs.
useless entity you're trying to kill. I, actually, I, I, have a, I have a ton of faces. I have a lot of actually a multi face entity. Punishment means, by the way, but you did it! Mux is dead! <laughs> oh, I never thought I'd say it, but I'm tired of killing. I think I need a vacation. Oh, it takes it out of me. Woo! That really was great work. Seriously, you really showed a lot of initiative today. <laughs> I'm gonna put in a good word about getting you promoted. Oh, shit. How does any of that work now? Does the company just not exist anymore? Oh, God, I, I don't know if I'm built for life outside the corporate landscape. Super into doing a lot of work. Don't worry, that's perfect. The CEO doesn't have to do any work. Oh, well, in that case. All right, as new CEO of Muxalong, first order of business, you're promoted, Bounty Hunter. Nice. Second order of business, we've got to let you go, Bounty Hunter. Sorry, layoffs. Of course. All right, all right, enough. I'm trying to find my home planet here. Does anyone know how to track a package to its sender? One of the computers in here should do the trick, but that is the last time I am helping you. Thanks, mate. You're the best manager I ever had. Bounty Hunter, where are you going? To my home, specifically. Not yours. Sorry. Nice! We're finally moving! Oh, man, you're gonna fucking love it, then. Seriously, think about it. A whole planet of knives just like me. A million Norfies. Oh, I'm so excited to see everyone again. I bet they've been so worried about me. Wondering where I've been. Oh, does this ship have cryo tubes? I'm too excited to sleep. Maybe just breathe me. Oh, you know what? Just knock me unconscious. Just hit me in the head really hard. I want to be unconscious. Wow. I can't believe it. We're finally here. My home planet, Australia 2. Wait, wait, shh, shh. Who's up ahead? Who in Knife's name ordered a package from Muxalon? How's it going, dickheads? Oh, dear heavens. Guess who's back? 
Did you miss me? No, 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 it can't be. Oh, not right now. Oh, not today. What are you talking about? What's today? Oh, it's coffee. The great sharpening has begun. Let us rise to a new plane. It's the day of the great sharpening, you fool. You're not supposed to be here. You were exiled. I was exiled? Why would I be exiled? You do violent, Knifey! An aberration of our species. We're meant to be a peace-loving race. We're knives. We weren't meant for violence. Okay, well that's fucking stupid. Nobody told me that. Well, if you didn't want Knifey around, why'd you send him a package? We were just mailing him his old shit. We were trying to be nice and not just throw it away. Yeah, we're leaving this planet behind and we just didn't want to take all his crap with us. He wasn't supposed to follow us all the way here. Wait, so are you saying you, you, you don't like me? Of course not. You're a complete psychopath. All you do is stab everyone around you. And you swear constantly. You know you can't go around saying the C word like that, right? You say it a lot, knifey. You kind of do say it a lot, dude. But it's happening, my liege. We're ascending! And with no time to spare. What? No, please, don't go! Don't leave me behind! You're my family! We're not your fucking family, Knifey! You're a piece of shit and we all fucking hate you! Oh no. Don't let him bring you down to his level, my liege! You need a pure and peaceful soul to ascend to the next plane! This is all Knifey's fucking fault! Fuck you, you twisted cunt! Oh, you can't say cunt! Shut the fuck up, you reject piece of shit! Oh, fuck. No! My liege! Knifey, you don't need these assholes. If you want a family, look around you. You've already got one. Come on. Right, guys? Oh, yeah. That's right, Knifey. Yeah, Knifey. We love you. We could be your family. Do, do you mean it? Really? Yeah, dude. I mean, sure, you're a little sharp around the edges, but hey, so am I. And it's nice having someone else on the team who isn't afraid to speak their mind. For real. We couldn't do any of this without you, bud. We're contract killers, and you love killing more than the rest of us all combined. Yeah, I am fucking great, aren't I? You know what? Fuck all you peace-loving knives. Ha ha ha, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Knifey's World, you dickheads. <laughs> Fuck these traitors. Stab them, bounty hunter. Stab that pretentious wannabe knife. Let's 
It's not even a name. It sounds like a bag of chips or something. Mikey Spano, what a dickhead. I'm making a vow to kill you for real. In real life, I'll do it. I'll become real and kill you. Keep one eye open, mate. Eric Meyer, loser alert. What a loser. Matty Stunnerman, did I see your name in the God of War credit? Oh, yeah, fuck it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm crazy. Oh, yeah, I love this. What the hell is he talking about? Oh, yeah, oh, he's been yeah. like this ever Why since we went to his home world and he made it. People rejected him. Oh, Jesus, Knifey. Hey, Knifey. Knifey! Huh? What? You doing okay, bud? Yeah, yeah, I I'm fine. Knifey, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but... I love you, you psycho. We all do. You got your family right here. R really? Yeah, yeah, really. Don't make me repeat it. Sir, are you saying I can stab you again, maybe? Oh, Christ. Thanks, everyone. I love you guys. I'm gonna stab you now, Gene. Get ready. Duck! <gasps> you stupid. I don't feel good. You make a better door than a window, kid. <laughs> Would you like an apple? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Love you too, buddy. The what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not part of the family anymore. Bounty Hunter, go drop this knife for you. Drop Kenny! <laughs> that didn't even make sense. Okay. No. Really? <laughs> yep. My head is a balloon. <laughs> Do you want a hot dog? Sure. Why not? <laughs>